I start my day with a basic morning drink generally and then I have coconut water after an hour. I skipped my breakfast that day because I was so full after having the coconut water and still I slept for an hour more. After waking up I thought of making a hair mask and this really smoothens my hair. Also it gives a nice volume so I have taken here a one whole banana, 4 tablespoons of yogurt and one whole egg white. Also I've pumped in the oil that I usually use and this is wow onion black seed oil. Out of all these ingredients, I've made a fine base so that I can easily apply the mask and here my mask is ready. I'm making four section of my hair so that I can easily apply the mask. And I will take a little amount and start applying from the root. I will gently massage it. I'm also going to put the mask in the hair tips because my hair tips are looking quite dull and yes this mask it really gives a nice shine and it looks so more voluminous after applying this mask. I am using this mask for last 3 to 4 years because after hair straightening my hair became so damaged so I stopped using any chemical treatment and this mask really helped me. So it's time to make my lunch and I'm going to prepare dalia ka pulao and this is going to be completely oilless and it tastes amazing i really love it aur ye kisi bhi item ke sath acche se chal jata hai even with bengali items so here i've taken one cup of dalia and i'm going to dry roast it in a preheated pan and then i'm adding one and a half teaspoon of salt next i'm adding half teaspoon of turmeric powder you can also skip it if you don't want any color but turmeric is something really good for this taste next i'm adding half teaspoon of ginger paste and two cloves for flavor and a handful of carrots i've added you may add any vegetable but in pulao i really like the carrots now i will again roast all the ingredients next i'm adding one and a half cups of water i am adding hot water giving it a nice mix so that everything comes together after that I will let it boil for 15 minutes in lowest flame and I will cover it and as you can see here my dalia is ready and last time I'm adding a little bit of black pepper half teaspoon around and since it's pulao so garam masala something is mandatory so I have added half teaspoon and garam masala is not bad for your health and for this corona days it, this is so good while my lunch was getting prepared, I thought of making a karak chai because I was suffering from a bad headache because the mask is quite heavy and yes, so I made this karak chai. It was really necessary for that time. After that I sat with my mom and we were gossiping and planning for the shopping. So hi guys welcome back to my channel this is Ishika. So now I already as you can see I got all decked up since I'm going out for now because our puja shopping is nothing nothing yet done. I just bought few Indian stuffs from W and even my mom got few and now we're again going to the local stores like few branded stores in our city. So let's see if I get something. Okay, so as you can see, I applied a mask in my hair, and so I just washed my hair with shampoo. I used L'Oreal ka clay mask that jo blue color ka dabbe mata hai. Now I'm going to apply some hair serum, and this is the L'Oreal Smooth Intense, which has argan oil in it. So just apply a little bit in the tips of my hair. I'm getting super late. My mom is scolding me like anything, but it's okay. Does
hi guys finally i'm back home and now i'm going to show you guys what i exactly bought for this durga puja as i told you guys in the previous vlog i will be showing what i bought that day uh in my upcoming vlog so obviously i'm going to show you guys what i exactly bought for this durga puja in this vlog so keep watching so as you can see i got this little stuffs is baar kuch zyada shopping ho nahi paya because कहीं पे भी कुछ स्टॉक्स अच्छे हैं नहीं ऑनलाइन आई लिटरली कुडेंट फाइंड एनीथिंग जो भी आ रहा था लाइक दोज वे सो ओल्ड लाइक लाइक पहले भी देख चुकी हूँ काफ़ी तो ऐसे चीज़ लेने का तो मन भी नहीं कर रहा था ओबियसली दुर्गा पूजा में हर किसी को नया एकदम ट्रेंडी चीज़ ही चाहिए होता है सो so, और यहाँ पे जो लोकल स्टोर्स है लाइक आई मीन दोज ब्रांडेड स्टोर्स यहाँ पे भी कुछ स्टॉक्स हैं ही नहीं कुछ लोग वो लोग लाए भी नहीं या जो भी था दोज वे लुकिंग सो ओल्ड तो वैसा कुछ लेने का मतलब भी नहीं होता है और इस बार वैसे भी हम लोग कहाँ जाने वाले हैं कहीं भी नहीं जाने वाले उतना ज़्यादा मे बी विल बी डूइंग सम हाउस पार्टी एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट सो वैसे भी ज़्यादा ड्रेसेस की ज़रूरत नहीं है तो बाद में जब कुछ अच्छा स्टॉक्स आएगा तब ले लेंगे तो लेट मी शो यू गाइज फॉर एग्जैक्टली आई वॉट आई मेनली गॉट इंडियन वेस ऑनली लाइक एथनिक वेस दिस टाइम बिकॉज वेस्टर्न ड्रेसेस तो कुछ मिला भी नहीं और आई रियली वॉन्टेड टू बाय अ वेरी नाइस वेस्टर्न ड्रेस प्रॉपर ड्रेस बट आई कुडन फाइन सो अभी जो भी लाई हुई दिखाती हूँ आप लोगों को ज़्यादा कुछ तो है भी नहीं वैसे सो हियर इज वन ब्यूटिफुल साड़ी दिस वन दिस साड़ी इज बिन गिफ्टेड बाई माई ग्रैंड मोम एंड दिस इज इन गोल्डन कलर एंड इट हैज दिस ब्यूटिफुल ब्लैक डिटेलिंग गोइंग थ्रू आउट द साड़ी एज यू कैन सी It's so beautiful and I just loved it. And the material is in so good; it would be so comfortable to wear. Yes, and to pair with this sari, I bought this blouse. Let me show you guys a very basic black color sleeveless blouse that I can also wear with lot of saris. This is a very basic sleeveless blouse, and it has this deep neck cut. I mean, from the back side. <laughs> okay, so this is very basic and very simple. It and it is in the uh, some kind of silk material, which looks gorgeous actually. So this is for one day sari blouse sorted, and. then i got a very basic black kurti from w and this is something i really wanted to get for a long a very basic and simple black kurti because black kurti is something that i really love it has this little very minimal golden detailing with you know mild sequins throughout the chest portion and it also has this golden buttons in between so overall it looks sober and even i can wear it casually and also i can you know pair it up uh with some gorgeous dupatta and a gorgeous palazzo which actually i have and this is the only reason i bought this black kurti so this is uh this is a beautiful palazzo in pink color this is also in silk material this is also from w as well and i bought this last year but i really couldn't find a proper kurti to pair with this one when i saw this when i fell in love with this palazzo so i got it but i couldn't really find any proper kurti to go with this because for this particular palazzo the material of the kurti is really something needs to match so finally i got one and i will pair it up and i will also show you and also i have a matching dupatta So I really love this. Look at the detailing and the design. I think this is Banarsi silk or something like that. The color is also so beautiful. So here is another pair. Okay, now let me show you one. This one is not mine. This is my mom's. So basically, basically I picked it up for her. This is so so. I don't know what color it is actually. uh maybe this is pistachio color or something like obviously this is something in green shade but exact color name i really don't know but i really like liked this color this is perfect for their age and she will when she wore it she 
she was looking bomb <laughs> okay and it has this off white color detailing throughout the chest portion also it has this little mild sequence you know little beads and the neck portion is so beautiful she can pair it up with a white or beige color leggings if also she wants she can wear it with those trendy pants okay so this is not mine this is my mom's and next is this beautiful piece that actually my eyes stuck on when i went to that w store like the when i opened the door and i went in the first thing that i stuck in my eyes was this beautiful piece of kurti and this one is from the wishful collection and i love wishful ka collection always so just a minute so as you can see as you can see the neck portion has nice detailing of beads in golden color as well as in pink color the neck portion is so beautiful even i loved the color this is in olive some kind of olive with a golden touch in it which, which i really love and basically agar bole to ye mehndi ka color hai <laughs> okay and it also has this little beads throughout the body and this is a long length kurti which i always prefer to wear and the most attractive part that I, which i literally loved in this kurti is the design and the detailing that they did in the sleeves this is so beautiful this is in royal blue pink golden color and it also has this shimmery edge in the sleeves so basically i can pair this kurti with any uh, a nice royal blue leggings or pant whatever i can find i actually have one i i'm talking about this particular color i really want to wear this one because it will look more bright and even i want i can carry one dupatta which i have so among all these kurtis i literally loved this one sabse zyada okay next i have this uh top in short pattern this one i bought from allen sole and this one is in maroon color which i love like maximum of my dresses are in this color and it has this nice golden buttons going throughout the top and this is so sober like very decent maybe i will wear it later on obviously this is not for puja <laughs> i just loved the colors but thought of picking this up and this one i can pair with a nice denim or black jeggings maybe with some stiletto's pants so yeah this is all for my durga puja shopping this year i know this i know this is so minimal but is bar hum log ke jaane bhi nahi wale hain so this is enough also i ordered few makeups from me and try i don't know if they are going to deliver it or not because the sale is going on now and in the sale period they slow down their delivery system also but i ordered it before the sale i literally don't know if they are going to deliver it on time or not but that really doesn't matter because if we can't jitna hai wo kafi hai now i will quickly rush to the kitchen and i will prepare dinner and yes today i'm going to prepare a soup which a very healthy soup with minimal oil and this is veggie chicken and egg white clear soup and even i'm not going to add any sauce like soy sauce vinegar nothing no starch i mean those corn flour and things nothing this is so healthy yet so delicious and if you are on diet do give it a try this is something very amazing and also very delicious as i said and yes i'm also going to make kashmiri fried chicken this is my dad's favorite so i'm going to make this one for him and soup for me and yes so let's go to the kitchen and keep on watching this video because uh, these two recipes are so amazing you're going to love and this recipes take so little time to get prepared you can just prepare this two in like one hour like 30 minutes each so and guys if you really like my videos don't forget to put thumbs up do share with your friends loved ones and family and yes also subscribe to my channel <laughs> okay so yes let's go to the kitchen and keep on watching bye for this healthy and delicious soup i have added 1 teaspoon of olive oil to the pan and in it i have added 1 teaspoon of garlic paste and i'm adding chicken these are minced chicken So I have stir fried the chicken. 
and then I'm adding handful of carrot and also I'm adding handful of raw papaya you can add any veggies of your choice and or whatever it is available so I will quickly stir fry all of these things together also I've added one and a half teaspoon of salt to it and one teaspoon of black pepper for a nice flavor and then I'm adding three cups of water for the boiling process and I will let it boil for 15 minutes once done I will add a little bit of coriander and then I have separated some egg white and then I'm adding slowly to the soup and slowly I'm stirring it so that I can get a nice chunk of eggs as well so here the soup is ready and lastly I will add a little bit of parsley for some extra flavor and just before having the soup I'm adding a little bit of white pepper powder this brings a really nice sharpness to the soup and yes the soup is ready this is so filling and delicious and after that I'm going to prepare kashundi that is mustard sauce fried chicken and for that I've taken 300 to 400 grams of chicken in that goes half teaspoon of garlic paste half teaspoon of ginger paste and half teaspoon of green chili paste you may also add red chili paste but green chili goes really good with the kashundi and here I'm adding two to three tablespoons of kashundi that is mustard sauce and for a little bit of color i'm adding a pinch of turmeric powder also it will bring nice flavor and i will mix and marinate it for 30 minutes and here i have taken mustard oil and slowly i'm adding the chicken pieces one by one to the pan and i will let it fry for five to seven minutes then i will cover and cook for 15 minutes so that the chicken can get soft and this chicken I have kept in brine water for a day so the chicken were already so soft you may also follow that process after the chicken is well boiled I have added two finely sliced onion and half capsicum now I'm going to stir fry all of these things together and add it one teaspoon of green chili sauce and here this is ready so easy and so delicious and with this I'm wrapping up this vlog here also do like this video share and subscribe thank you for watching